Okay, here we go with our, uh, our training today. Super excited to have you guys on here. Today, we're gonna talk about um, systems and, and, and ask some hard questions, and then also a little bit of accountability and why that is, uh, why your performance is important to um, the growth of your team. So first and foremost, let me ask you this. If you took a poll of 10 people that are on your team and asked them, hey, if you sign somebody today, what are your next steps? What's the likelihood of them telling you, all of them telling you the same thing? Any thoughts? Debbie, you have a pretty big team. How do you feel about that? Um, there would be a general thought that maybe, but not anything like I would like to have personally a sheet of paper that says bing, 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 bing. This is what you do. Okay. Day one after signing up, this is, and I know that Deanna posted something like that, like a follow-up, a 30-day follow-up. So I need to go in and I would like to, I'm, I would like to put that on a piece of paper. That's like 30 day follow-up. This is what you'll do. Yes. Yes. So. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I mean, and that's the thing is knowing what the system is. I think I don't have it written anymore because I've been doing it so consistently for the past year of, since being in, in the diamond sprint group. Um, but your system doesn't have to be my system. Debbie, yours should be close because we're on the same team. But here, here's the thing. I say that meaning, Debbie, you could use the system that I use because it works. Like if I didn't have a proven, if I hadn't proven over the last 12 months that what I've been doing, like if it wasn't working and I didn't have proof of, you know, my outside leg, continuing to grow month after month and duplicating, then I couldn't justifiably say, hey, do what I'm doing if it didn't work. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Right. So you don't want to share a system if you have, if it's not tried and true and, and there's no proof in the pudding that it works because right. lots of people can share lots of systems, but if you don't actually know what they're looking like as far as their team growth or their personal growth or retention, you know, and does it make sense to follow their system? You know, and you do want to customize it to you, but at the end of the day, there are some things that aren't really customizable, right? They are just, we, wow. within our company, we sell supplements and some face care, you know, and some weight loss products. But at the end of the day, we sell supplements. And so first step is giving them the how to take your supplements. You know, we have all of the how-to guides. That's your first step. How-to guide and the introduction of, again, hey, I never want anybody to go without, you know, their health products of getting better. So if you ever want help earning money to get your products paid for, just let me know, right? And then you're gonna say, hey, I'm gonna add you if it's okay. I, what I say is, hey, if it's okay with you, I'm going to add you to my customer page where I share promotions, contests, um, product info, anything that, you know, is going on with us and things that we're kind of doing as a team, if we want run any special contest, that's all gonna be in there. And that's the team, oh. the team, not Pink Health. Pink Health is the info group. Correct, yes. So um, when I share Pink Health is the second somebody has shown, I'm, 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 sep I'm stepping away from my regular system, Debbie, but to- No, no, no to be clear on that. So Pink Health is our page where we have lots of testimonials, product info, all of that. The second anybody asks me, hey, would your products help with 
X, Y, Z? I say, absolutely. I'm going to add you to a page I have that's full of testimonies. And you can, I'll tag you in some posts, but also you can search in the search bar up there, put, type in anything, and it's going to pull up testimonies. It's also going to pull up posts with um, sharing with you the products that helped. So anytime somebody asks me if our products will help with something, they go in pink health. Anytime somebody who is on my team already asks me, hey, a friend of mine has blah, blah, blah. Do you think Plexus could help? I say, yes, I am going to add you to a page we have with testimonies, product. What I want you to do is type her thing in the search bar, find some posts. You can either share those directly with her or probably even better, add her to the page and tag her. That's how I utilize Pink Health currently. Anytime, let me do too. Anytime somebody has any question about Plexus helping anything, whether they're a current customer or a prospect, I put them in our Pink Health testimony page. Is that helpful, Debbie? Oh yeah, no, I just wanted to make sure I got that clarification right because that's what I'm doing, you know. Yes, I'm sure you're doing it right. So again, first steps, how to graphic for them, how to start their products. Also letting them know when you send that, hey, this is just a template. Everybody is different. I need you to let me know if you are uncomfortable in any way, if you have diarrhea, if you have constipation so that we can adjust things. But this is how we start. That way they know, hey, you don't have to follow this, but this gives you at least, this at least gets them started. Okay, then I'm adding them to our customer page, which for us is Team Hope. And then again, I'm sharing probably in my third touch, again, again, not sure if you're interested at all, but I love helping people get their products paid for. So if you're ever interested in that, let me know. And anytime somebody even shows interest, my next step is to say, perfect. What I'd love to do is put you in my page that I have for people trying to earn money with Plexus. And that's Gold Diggers, where you all are. I did miss one step. So Debbie, you're taking great notes. Before they get their product, the first thing I do while their products are on their way is I send them the recording of when I did the Welcome to Plexus call. Um, do we have that? Where do we have that one? It's in, the, um, it's in the featured on the Team Hope page. So if you click on featured. Okay. It's the graphic is of me and it's saying the welcome to Plexus. It's the corporate graphic of me, but that link, you can just, you can click on that and click share and it'll be the link. And you can say, hey, this is a jewel from our team that it's a quick call where she shares how to best take advantage of your VIP membership. Do you put that in before the... Add to customer page or after? Before. Okay. I, I do. Putting notes. <laughs> yeah, I see you. So I do, I, as soon as they order, that next day, I send them the welcome to Plexus call. Got it. And then, and I, you know, of course say, hey, let me know as soon as your products arrive. And as soon as they tell me that, I send them to how to start. And, and I do love the flip book that Christy has done in the graphics group. It's amazing, but it's it awesome. too much for some people. Yeah, is it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. But it's super useful if people are want to start working the business and learn about the products. We have a lot now. Yep, I have one that she wants to. She's just, she's dealing with some things. So we're trying to get her to get over the hump. She used Plexus pre-COVID or right at, during covid and she got it from her sister-in-law, but her sister-in-law has not really been posting, done anything with it. And it, she did the business in such a way that it really turned 
her husband off to plexus mm -hmm. but when she told him that she was because she's like i felt so good with plexus i'm doing it again you know um when she told him he was like no absolutely not you know <laughs> so anyway so ordering from you she can yeah order from she you. is she is but she's worried about posting because she doesn't know what this sister-in-law is gonna what the sister-in-law is gonna do and and the fact of the matter is is they have some history with going into business with family and it not working out and i just said hey you can just tell her your husband is he doesn't want to mix business with family period she's like oh that's a good one because that's so true <laughs> so, okay. yeah and, and if it's the truth it's very easy to say that yeah yeah right yeah, it's very interesting because this sister-in-law hasn't posted, but she has a diamond that she recruited. So who's her, who's her sister? You don't have to tell me this is being recorded. Never mind. Never I don't mind. know. Actually, okay. I don't know. So it, it's okay. But I'm just saying, you know, one of her recruits is a diamond. She yeah. is not, but anyway. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So our system is sign somebody, send them the welcome to Plexus call send them the how-to graphic of how to start their products let them know you want to help them get their products paid for add them to team hope or whatever your customer page is and then of course you are following up each week in their first i say six weeks but whatever you think on their products and how they're feeling so a super simple system. And, you know, I was coaching um, at another company today and something that I shared with them, you know, because they were like, I don't know if, you know, I sent them the training, but I don't know if they're doing it or not. And I was like, here's how you know if they are. They have questions. They just do. So, so if you have people put in the places and they have questions or thoughts, you know that they are engaging and they're watching the things and they're they're looking at the things. I I will always tell them at the beginning of the each month, whatever um, the prize is, not, you know, but to whoever is like remotely, hey, if you want help earning, and that it's as simple as that. Hey, if you want help earning the, you know, Lululemon gift card, let me know. I'm going to help you. I can help you do that. Just that simple. And so that's your system. And it's that simple. And you can teach that to your people. Or if you, if you have a level one that has signed people, but you know they are not actively doing things. Again, it goes back to tap rooting, which we talked a lot about three years ago haven't talked about much lately. I have a level one that recruits like crazy, but doesn't do any of the other stuff. So I treat all of her people like my level ones. All of their questions, all of their info, come from, would it be easier if she did all of this? Yes. But I have talked to Jules, to Diamonds, who have had to do this type of handholding to people literally till they're emerald. So there's not a time period on how long you have to help people there's not a you know a rank where you're like they should be doing it all themselves now like ideally yes but we don't live in an ideal world when you tell them you're going to help like you were giving the example of the lululemon and you said if you want to go that way i'm willing to help you what are your steps of help and what does that actually look like that's an amazing question. So if somebody is interested in earning some money, the what, what my help looks like is I craft posts for them that they may customize to, to fit themselves and post. Um, and then I tell them, hey, if anybody is interested or you're talking to somebody in person, if anybody is interested, put them in a three-way chat with me. And then I honestly ask the questions to get it started, answer the questions, make a recommendation, and typically send them the link to sign up or get their information to sign them up, which 
I know we're not supposed to do that, but I still do it sometimes. I did it, you know, depending on what the promo code looks like and what's going on. And, and you can tell when you're talking to somebody, hey, is this person really efficient that <laughs> like I can send them the link and they're going to, it's going to be done in a minute? Or is it better for me to like jump on the phone and get their information and get them signed up or get them signed up on the phone? Trust your instincts on that. But that's what, that's the handholding that I do. I literally am like, make a post or talk to somebody in person. Anybody that shows any interest at all, put them in a, either a Facebook message thread or a text thread with me. And then I just do what I know how to do. And so the great thing about that is that person now is never surprised to hear from me because I have been involved from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. Also, it's duplicating. So that person who has been doing that, who puts me in three-way chats with everybody, her people now just automatically put me in a three-way chat with anybody they have that's interested. Some of them are quick learners and they handle some things on their own and then they message me and they're like, hey, I have somebody ready to sign up. Can you remind me how to do that? but they're hand handling the conversations on their own. Everybody is different, but it has 100% duplicated over the last year that this whole downline, this one person's whole downline puts me in three-way chats with anybody that's interested. Okay, awesome. So sometimes it can be overwhelming because there's lots of people, but that's a good thing because that means my team is growing. Yes. Right. And, and Absolutely. the thing is, is you have to work to make money. Otherwise, whatever you're doing is illegal in the U.S. Like you got to work to make money. And if me being in lots of three-way chats earns me money, I, I'm working. Right. All right. Any other questions about that? How I help the team? All right, next, we're going to move on to what could be a touchy subject, and that is adding three new customers a month. Um, we had on our team one person that did that besides me, and um, something that is kind of being shared with us over and over is that if you can't add approximately one person every 10 days. What's wrong? What does your work look like that is making it so that you can't add one person every 10 days? I don't know, but that's my question. And to make that even a tougher pill to swallow, how can you expect anybody on your team below you to add three every month when you can't. And so that's tough. That is tough um, because it looks different for everybody. Did any of you see the post that I made? It was towards the end of the month, so you might've missed it, but about the analysis I did on number of posts versus how that translated into VIP customers. Anybody see that? I saw that. So, yeah, I reviewed it. Crystal, I'm sorry. Crystal, and you go, and then Debbie, you go. <laughs> sorry, I was just saying, yes, I did see it, and I reviewed through that. It was quite interesting. Yeah. Debbie, did you see it? I did. I just wasn't sure what you, like, I, were you using different examples from different team members? Yeah. Is that what it was? Okay. Yeah, I went through our team leaders. And um, literally went back on everybody's page. Um, not everybody. Our, our, who, who, anybody in my team who considers themselves a leader, you all know who you are. I went back through those people's pages and literally counted one by one how many Plexus posts that person had made since January 1st and then how many people they had signed. So to give you an idea, uh, one person 
posted 45, ta- 45 times. And I'm sharing this because you got to do what works for you. And the, the point of the post was lots of people will say, do this and you will get this result. And this, this information proves that wrong. Right. That's kind it of what also said, Hey, what's working for you and what's not working for you. So are these plexus posts that you're looking at or just yes. any posts? Okay. No, post, put, only put, the person plexus. posting about plexus. So Crystalline posted 45 times about Plexus and added three customers, right? So that is not a great ratio. So what that, but by looking at it, we can do so much with information. Am I right? So much. Like Debbie, you posted 15 times from January 1st until end of March. So that's approximately five posts a month about Plexus, and you saw <laughs> two people. That's a better ratio than crystalline. So what we can do with that, and then of course, we've got Deanna who posted one time in three months and got she put it two times, two times the whole first quarter and got one customer. We know that. Right. I'm here's what I know about Deanna Bishop. Because she talks to so many people in person, that her posting is not as important. Like her ratio was literally one post, two posts, one customer. And that's pretty much how she has always been. I think she builds such strong relationships in her life that when she posts randomly, people are like, Oh, you still do Plexus? I want to order. Don't we all wish it was that easy, right? (laughs) And so uh, with Crystalline, 45 posts, that's amazing. (laughs) Besides me, who posts every single day about Plexus, Crystalline had the most posts. So to me, that's amazing. Keep doing what you're doing, but let's look at what, what do those posts look like? Because maybe we need to change the verbiage. Maybe we need to change the type of testimonies you're sharing because maybe those aren't hitting home with most of the people that are on your page. So to me, Crystalline doesn't have a a posting problem. It's a what's the message problem. Does that make sense? Debbie, your message was obviously relevant and good to your people because you had a 15 to two ratio. So essentially for every seven posts, you got a customer. For Crystalline, it was every 15 posts, she got a customer. Um, so I was, I'm doing Bob's 14 day challenge right now, Bob Heiligs. And one of the things he talks about is making sure your post is, <clears throat> excuse me, making sure your post is going to, he says, ask yourself if this is going to add value to somebody. <clears throat> I apologize. I just got to tickle. Anyway, he gave the example of a person holding the product in their hand uh-huh. and giving all the benefits of the product. And then he said, <clears throat> but he said, you're going to have very few people that resonate with that. If you were to, and Chrislyn does this really well. Oh, I'm so sorry. <clears throat> but you put your baby in your lap and you write the same post and the whole it becomes valuable because when you've got your people looking at that <clears throat> it's a value because they see you and they see mother you know person that values her family that you know different things is able to be there with her family, things that they want to have. So mm-hmm. <clears throat> it's not necessarily, you, your, your post of value doesn't have to be adding facts and figures. Mm-hmm. It can be adding lifestyle or adding, you know, things that people want that are in the demographics that are coming onto your page. Sorry. Correct. No, <laughs> I agree with you completely. And, um, I think also what is really, really um, critical beyond the posting 
is the work that's being done outside of the posting. And I think um, what is amazing and what I think we will start to see over the next three months is again, not to pick on Crystalline, but we're gonna see her recruiting going up and up and up because she has <coughs> consistently posted and now is getting really consistent with reach outs outside of the post. And I think all together, we're gonna see her team explode, right? Um, our Jenna, who is, so I've signed in the first, so by the end of April, it's May, I can't believe it's May. So I've signed 20, since I made that post, I said, so 28 people I've signed this year, 28 level ones. I've posted probably 120 Plexus posts. Um, I would say that my recruiting is down because I spent two months going to no in-person networking between my shoulder and my sickness and all of that. So I'm not super happy with my numbers, but I'm not upset about my numbers. But it all goes hand in hand because I go to networking events and people will be like, oh, I saw that post. Tell me about that. Jenna on our team is the next highest recruiter. She's She had 28 plexus posts and signed 14. So that's a two to one ratio, which is remarkable. But that girl legitimately is at four to five networking events a week. She That's what she does for her other business is she's out. So she's a member of Rotary, a member of Qantas, a member of four different chamber chambers. You know what I'm saying? And so yeah. it's not fair to compare her posting numbers to somebody else's posting numbers who like Crystalline, who works from home and has got young babies and is doing all that. That's not a fair comparison. And so I share all this because oftentimes somebody will say, if you do this X amount of times, you should have this result. And that's just not the case because there's so much more that goes into it, right? There's so much more that goes into it, but your storefront really is your posting. That's your storefront. You guys all know this. You have been around the block 400 times with me and there's not anybody that would say, hey, don't post it all will be successful in network marketing. That's not a thing, right? That's like saying, um, Genevieve gave the example today. She said, you know, everybody knows that like buying a Chick-fil-A franchise is like a gold mine. It's, you're going to have a line out on the street from the day your doors open. Like that's just the Chick-fil-A model. People will wait, like, that's the model. And she goes, but if I bought a Chick-fil-A franchise and I built the building and I bricked it, but I never turned the light on and opened the door and sold a piece of chicken, would I make any money? No. Like, she's like, you have to, you can be sitting on a million dollar model, but if you don't go to work and if you don't train the people to fry the chicken, and to be nice to your customers, you're not going to make a ton of money. And it's a very, you know, it's like, that's true, right? Like we're sitting on a wonderful business model. We sell amazing products, but if we don't go to work. So then let me ask you next question. What do you need to work on to make sure that you add what do you need to get better at to make sure you add three people this month? In your own words. The word recruiting, but I think that word means something else that I'm not understanding. Okay. So are you saying you need to recruit more, but you're not sure? Rephrase that for me. I'm not sure I understood what you were saying. Okay. I think... What I've been thinking about and trying to, because I post, and I post, I'm not going to say I post a lot. I think a lot is a relative term, but I do post. I don't, I don't always, I don't always make them plexus. Which is great. They shouldn't be. Right. I think that my verbiage 
I think you spoke on that a little bit earlier. My verbiage is not enticing. I have there, it's not interesting to people who are viewing it. And that may come to uh, adding value. And when you said um, that they look inside basically crystalline, it's emotionally, you know, they see she's a good wife, a good mom, and they see all these other things. Obviously, my posting is lacking. And, you know, for me to say it doesn't show family or it doesn't show this. I can't honestly say that, but there's an incentive somewhere that's not coming across. Let me ask you this. Do you, so just so we're all on the same page, I think what she's saying is one of the ways for her to make sure she gets her three people is to make better posts that attract people that are viewing her Facebook page. So, um, do you post personal pictures or are they pictures of the products? Sometimes I will do a product, but like I said, I don't always do that. But I have personal pictures on there. I'm not going to say I don't do graphics because I do. But I would it be better to do more personal ones? Because I can always. do that. Always. Okay, so show people your pause. Life. People pause and look at pictures that are of you or your family. And then they may or may not read your post. But it is just, they will. I mean, I pause through every one of Crystalline's pictures that her sweet girls are in. And that are um, her. So I love the content creation course that I did that with the One Diamond. Um, it, yeah, yeah it was not a diamond, good. but that was what I was going to suggest. Oh, that's, yeah, is, uh, her course was amazing and excellent. If she does another one, I don't know that she's doing another one right now. And I'm actually thinking of just signing up for her her program. Yes, it's, it's like seventy nine dollars. I want to say correct. So I used to pay for that by the month. It's her writer's room where she yeah, does that kind of thing two to three times a week. So what we're talking about is Kelly Collins Lentz, L-I-N-T-Z is her last name. Um, she's actually an actress and a screenwriter and an author. And she has created a course that helps you write really good posts. And it's amazing. She has a and, workshop. And it's workshop and her tips and her guidance and her knowledge is, incredible. is remarkable. It's remarkable. Yeah. And I used to pay for it by the month. And she finally, I think it just became a mess. Also, she's moving and there's a lot going on. So now you can just pay like- a One time one lifetime fee, it's $79. Like $79 for a lifetime like membership. 70, yeah, $74, $79, something like that. Lifetime. Yeah. And it's, she I is, honestly- I, I have shared some of her things in Gold Diggers and I think you've all liked them. Like where it's like do's and don'ts of MLM language and, you yeah. know, copy. Yeah. And she- can teach the daylights out of how to write great posts. It's the first name, Kelly. Yeah. Kelly. Mm -hmm. And I will send you the link. So I'm, I'm going to go off on a little bit of a tangent here. I yeah. have started using chat GPT uh -huh. and it has been life-changing for me. Um, uh -huh. and I use it in such a way that it helps me organize my thoughts because with I have ADHD, so I, it's hard for me to keep my thoughts going in the right direction. Anyway, it has really helped me because so like I, the other day I just said to it, I said, you're a 63 year old grandma and need to have more energy using Plexus products. What, what would a post look like? And it spit me out this post. And then I got to look at that post and then I said, okay, give me a hook for this post which a hook is like the first line that people are going to read right. and it spit me out a hook. And then I said, okay, now spit me out a call to action for this. And it spit me out one. And I was like, eh, I don't like that one. Give me another one. So then it gave me another one. And then I got to look at all. And, and I did that a couple of times with a couple of different things. And, you know, it gave me options to go through and look at in, and, and it wrote it in an engaging way. I had to change things, obviously. Like it, I didn't just copy and paste what it gave me, but it gave me ideas of something that I could say in a way, you know, you can even say to it, give me a humorous 
antidote for why, you know, why somebody needs magnesium or whatever it is. Do you know what I'm saying? And it will spit you out an option and you can look at it and go, hmm, I wonder if, and then you just ask it that question. I wonder if. So it, it, it's kind of, it was kind of an easy way for me to, I, I've, I've done like three posts in the last little bit that have gotten a lot of engagement just from using that. Yeah. So it again. it's called chat. GPT. chat gpt and i don't it's artificial intelligence yeah it's the artificial intelligence and christy if you have a link i don't know if you've do you have a link for it to, to i only have it on my desktop i'm i haven't been a fan oh. of any of the the apps that i found i have it on my phone but i've also used it on my i'm getting it hold on i've used it on my computer um my entire linkedin profile is is um, done through that yeah it it was incredible i um i said to it i said i want to how do i incorporate disney with my plexus business and it gave me a, like 10 ideas and i said how about some more and then it gave me some more and it was like and it was just fun so like let's say one of your interests are like what is one of your interests is it Gina? Gina is that sewing how or cooking? Sewing. Yeah. So, you know, what would what would interest somebody that's that was into sewing? How would how would they be interested in Plexus? Or what would what would it, you know, what would make them be interested in Plexus? You know, kind of a thing. Hmm. And okay. it's really interesting. Yeah, it's really interesting the ideas that it will give you. You'll be like, oh, I didn't even think about that. You know. Okay. So it, okay. it it gave me a few things and then you can just say, well, you know, give me a, you know, give me a humorous post about whatever. And it'll okay. do it. Thank you. Sorry, I, can you guys hear me? Yeah. I lost sound when I clicked on. Oh, to find the link. This is a great video on how to use it and it'll oh, you good. can really find pick any one, but if you can copy that and save it, did it send. Did I send it, it did it did okay. I got it yeah okay. Um, I also use it for graphics like quote graphics like it i'll say tell me 12 great things about gut health or benefits about gut health. And it's like boom, boom, boom. And Canva actually, you can actually just drop them and Canva will auto produce each different one on all different graphics. And all different graphics, really? Oh, see, I've got- I'll find the video for that and send it to you. Okay, please. Cause that, I have Canva too. And I was just like, I would no, love to do you that. You can, it, Canva has an AI- uh, um, an AI bot itself in yes. Canva. Yeah. And you put it in it and then it can auto populate all the different graphic cards in whatever design you've chosen and then you just post one however nice sense yep, yep. um okay so sorry i didn't mean to go on a tangent but it actually is helpful yes it was, it was very helpful for me recommendations it gave for me, i'm sorry it gave me options when i couldn't think of something mm -hmm. and you that's i think yeah that's the thing i think that when i i like i've been doing this mondays with mickey's you know and so it helped me write my whole typhoon lagoon reel caption that i did on monday because i was like i want to write about my trip to typhoon lagoon but i just really don't know what to say i want to i want to touch on this 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 and this and so then it helped me spit out you know what the post the post yeah so so posting suggestions um have a personal picture of some sort. If you're interested, Kelly Collins Lentz has a remarkable um, program. And I will put the link to that in the show notes. When I upload this to YouTube, I could put show notes. <laughs> and I will put the link to that. I will put the link to um, the YouTube training for GPT, chat GPT. And I will put a link to the Canva training because I know most people that will watch this have Canva. I will put all those links in the in the show notes. It um, will be in, and you, the YouTube link will go in the team, Gold the Gold Diggers page. Okay. Uh -huh. Yep. 
Um, okay, Debbie, what can you do this month starting today to make sure you add at least one person every 10 days? Um, I'm going to post every day, like every day. And there about will be Plexus three, or about three posts a week for Plexus at least. Okay. Yeah. Hey, my, goal is to, my goal is to have one in the stories every day uh -huh. that's Plexus related in my stories. So great. And then, um, Crystalline, what are you going to do to add three people this month? My goal is to reach out to no less than five new people a day. That's going to work. That will work. I like that. And then um, when you say five people, just so we're clear, um, five new people or some follow-ups or just making sure you touch base with five people about Plexus or just so we're, we, you know your intention. Talk me through that. I am going to send an ask to learn a little bit more about Plexus to five people a day. Perfect. I like that. And um, does everybody have their goal for May? How many people are each of you going to sign for May? What is your goal? What is your intention? Six for me. Six for you. It's six for me also. Crystalline, how many do you want to sign this month? I would like to sign six and I would like to develop at least two level one silvers. That's going to be huge for leaders retreat. You guys all know it's double points. Double, double points. I thought month. that was genius that they did it at the beginning. Because yep. sometimes, sometimes when you don't meet your goal that first month, you're so deflated that you just are like, I can never, I can't even do this now. Well, also... Plexus is known for, and I'm not, I don't have any inside scoop on this yet, but Plexus is known for Mother's Day specials and Memorial Day specials. Those are both this month. Nice. Right? So if you're already, if you're already going, it is much easier to pick up speed than if you are stopped. Yep. Am I right? Like you can, it's much easier to go 40 miles per hour to 80 miles per hour than it is to go zero to 60 because you're already in motion same with your business all right Gina what is your uh how, what are you hoping to recruit this month three three I, I love that'd that. be wonderful it'll yeah. excellent I love it any other questions okay when you reach out to somebody like Kristen and said she was gonna do okay my idea of reach out is compliment on what they have or something that you like about what they have. And sometimes that can lead you to a private message. Then what are your next steps after that? What have you accomplished when you get to the point to say, have you ever tried Plexus or whatever question you might have? for that? There, is, there are different lines of thought here. Um, some people will coach you to say, really build a strong relationship, really build that trust, really get to know them. There are other people that will tell you that takes a really long time. And most people don't have time to just have random chatter because they're so busy. And so those people are along the lines of just straight up asking, hey, I don't know if you've seen my posts, if you have any interest, but I would love to chat a little more with you about the products that I love. Are you interested? Or if you're trying to work more on business builders, hey, I don't know if this is for you or not, but I am looking to grow my leadership team in 2023, and I think you would be amazing. Are you open to hearing more? Okay, okay. And, and I do that because I have coaching clients. I have a kid I homeschool. I've got Plexus. I have now I'm renovating and remodeling a home that isn't 45 minutes away from my house one way. Like there's so much that I do that I just don't have time. And probably I'm not having those conversations with people that haven't already 
so the the line of thought i should go back the line of thought where you say hey let me just talk to you about plexus that does not come out of the blue the relationship building has been on their page commenting on their posts okay right so make a list of people that you would like to ask about plexus and intentionally go through for a week at least and comment on their posts and let them they're going to start to a they're going to okay. start to see your posts but also you're not coming out of the blue like hey do you want to talk about plexus right you've been active on their yeah. page maybe for two weeks before you yeah. even jump in their dm saying hey not okay. sure if you're interested but that becomes more efficient. This is different than just scrolling and thumbing all day long. This is yeah. you have a list of people that you would like to recruit mm -hmm. and you are intentionally going on their page every day and seeing if there's anything you can comment on. Some people are hard. Some people only post once a week. Some people okay. post a lot. And here's the thing. If you're trying to recruit business builders like you should be, do you mm -hmm. really want to recruit somebody who almost never posts. It is going to be really hard for them to grow a business if they right. never post. Thank but, you. That's very helpful. Right. And and I, I want to end on something that Genevieve also shared with us today. And that is if you've shared the business and they're not interested, and if you've shared a welcome pack and they're not interested, by all means, sell them a bag of active or hydrate. Retail. Okay. I did not know this, but Christina Williams, who is a diamond something, like she is darn near close to double diamond, for two years straight before she ever sold Plexus, ordered only ProBio 5 at retail. She is wow. now almost double diamond. For two years, she bought ProBio 5. So Genevieve's like, I know you want the points. I know that helps you earn money and helps you grow a team. But if people are not interested in that, sell them one product that will be a game changer for them. And for most people, that's active. Okay. She said, don't be afraid to sell one bag of active at retail to people. Okay. You don't know what that'll turn into. It's better than nothing. They're still in your path. We get so focused on points and contests and welcome packs that sometimes we forget to just be like, hey, you only got $35. You've got to try my energy drink. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Okay. Any other thoughts, questions before we jump off? Snide remarks? <laughs> my snide remark is thank you. It was very informative. Thank you, ladies. Okay. You're welcome. Debbie, thank you for sharing so much. I appreciate you. Oh, I'm glad to share what I've learned. It's just you been a huge lot. You, uh, Debbie is our massive learner. Oh, Debbie is our learner. Debbie needs to be our implementer now. <laughs> Take all the stuff you've learned and go to work. But all right. No, things are coming together. I'm excited. Absolutely. Absolutely. They are. So um, I'm about to run. Hold, please. Hold. Thank you for jumping on. Let me 